Hi everyone, today we're going to look at 2022.20.5.1 and we're going to see if there's been some improvements because obviously a point one released it quite quickly which is quite unusual really because we only got this about three days ago and now we're back to another one um, so we're going to have a look at what that's all about we're going to see if they fixed anything especially the um, parallel parking we want to see how that is if they've improved that there is a few things that weren't working and now that has been fixed so we're going to look at those and we're going to look at everything see that and we're going to look at all of that right now mal's back talking tesla to see the enhancements made to my tesla and how to update yours please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help Right, first thing we're going to look at then is the release notes. As you know, you press a little button there, the car button, and we go into software. And if we go release notes and we look at what's going on. Okay, so the first thing you notice is speed assist, exactly the same as uh, dot five. So dot 5.1, no change. Speed Assist says the Speed Assist now leverages your car's cameras to detect speed limit signs. This improves the accuracy of speed limit, data of local roads and highways in select countries. Detected speed limit signs will be displayed in a driving visualisation. OK, what that means is that as you come up to a gantry now and you see that it's 50 mile an hour from 70, the car sees it and actually controls it for you. And it's very quick. Also, tyre configuration now allows you to um, reset the learn tyre settings directly after tyre rotation, uh, swap or replacement to improve your driving experience to reset, tap control services, wheels, tyres, configuration, tyres. Great! You'll notice on Homelink now, it's got an active button. So in my case, I've, I've named it, I'm over here, which is right on the bottom. You've got the activated button which you can compress and there you have it and that's where it is also people have said where is the home link settings now so home link has changed it used to be up the top frame here you press the car icon it's the first little house you press the house and then you've got i've got three so i've got lodge ped and i'm over here and you can see the i'm over here is in green that's because i've got a little unit that i can take it with me everywhere and I can have it and all I've got to do is just change locations then once you get here it says time for auto open and auto close is there you've got all the three you can adjust and if you press reset location which you wouldn't do with your things at home because basically uh, they're not fit they're not uh, movable mine is so I use mine so that I can use it when I'm out and then I can make the car talk to me and say I'm over here so that's brilliant so that's how that works and that's now moved so that's okay for you to know where that is okay so when you put on your cruise control the first thing you're going to notice is the actual uh, number in the max there has got bigger which is great and now the actual scroll wheel has come back so when you actually adjust it you can turn it up or down or which way you want to go but when you flick it like so it does the fives now 20 15 so that's back so that's been fixed that was not there in 16.3 and it certainly wasn't in there in 20.5 but 20.5.1 and now it's been fixed so if you want to change what's up in the 37 max to what the current speed is, if you hit the speed limit, it puts it up for you. See someone running? Does the car see it? Yes. Brilliant. Okay. What with home link, that changes have happened there, so at least you know what's going on there. And also, parking is getting better. So they are fixing it. It's still not 100% as it was, but it's getting better. It's more drivable now and more user-friendly. So you can use it again, but 
I'll watch on to the next update and let you know again if they've improved it any further. Well, it's a short and sweet one for you today. I hope that you're getting all the updates that you wanted to. And if you haven't, don't worry. It's not the fact that you're missing out. It's the fact that in your region, you haven't got it yet, but it will be there. So that will be good. And also, if you've got anything that you've detected or found different, let me know in the comments below and then we can discuss it with you and we'll have an interesting conversation to find out. If you're wondering and your insurance is up due and you're thinking, oh, what do I do? Maybe it's not a good idea if you're getting insured to uh, let the insurance company fix the car. And if that's the case, you can look at this video up here and it will tell you what happened to me and why it was a better idea for me to pay out and get it done. So that's coming up there. If you've missed the update previously, I will give it to you down the bottom here um, so that you can see what's going on there. And so if you've missed it, then you can see what's going on and you will actually have it. For all those that have got this latest update, well done you lot. Take care and whatever you're doing, enjoy. Have a great day and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching Mal's Back Talking Tesla. You've joined over a thousand followers worldwide. So don't miss out on the fun. Subscribe now. It's free.